We've got a rain moving in this afternoon and I want to get these into the soil before it gets here. Today I'm going to show you how we transplant peppers into a mitlighter garden as part of the mitlighter gardening method. Not a lot of tools required for this job today. We do need pruners, of course the mitlighter gardening course book, a garden planting detail sheet which is also in the book but I have a laminated copy that I can't ruin in the garden. A shovel, because I'm going to be digging in a heavy clay soil. And of course, my seedlings. Before I go to the garden, I'm going to water all the seedlings, which I've already done. And the next thing I'm going to do is prune these first leaves. All right, these have been watered and pruned. And I'm out here in the garden looking at our garden planting detail sheet. Go to peppers, all type. I see that we're going to plant them in two alternating rows with a spacing of 12 inches. And this garden planting detail sheet is in the back of the Midlighter Gardening Course book. Or you can download it for free out of the Midlighter Gardening Method Facebook group in the file section. I want to get this as deep into the soil as I can without covering the crown, the growing tip, and I don't want these leaves to be resting on the soil. Back as close to that ridge in our mitlighter garden as I can get. Put a loose soil in around your seedling because you don't want an air pocket. An air pocket will dry out the roots. It won't allow the seedling to get water and nutrients if there's not any water or not any soil up against its root. Here's a tip for you. The practice of putting a seedling in the ground and then compacting the soil down and around that plant is actually not good for it. When you put these in, you want to make sure that the roots are all covered with soil, but you don't want to compact it. If you compact it, you're going to make it more difficult for the water and the nutrients to get to the roots, as well as the air. The plant takes in the majority of all the nutrients, the water, and the air that it needs through its root. If you compact this soil, around that root, you're going to make it more difficult for all of those things to get down there. You don't want any air pockets around those roots, but you don't want to compact the soil either. Ideally, you don't want to do any of your transplanting during the heat of the day. That is going to cause undue stress on your plants, and it's going to take them longer to come out of that shock. We're going to do several things when transplanting by the mitlighter gardening method to reduce the shock to all the plants that we're putting in our garden. First, we've already discussed watering. Watering the plant well so that the roots are very wet before they come out of their container and into the garden. You're going to prune. You're going to remove excess leaf material from that plant. We're going to do this first thing in the morning or in the evening so that there's going to be less sun on this plant while it is trying to recover from shock. Immediately after transplanting we're going to water it in and that's going to help to settle the soil around the roots. Remember we don't want any air pockets. And right before we water it in though we're going to add nitrogen. We add nitrogen at the rate of one quarter ounce per linear foot. So in this 12 foot area where I'm putting these peppers, we'll add three ounces of nitrogen. And that nitrogen is gonna help to get them through the transplant shock and to get them growing faster and productive in your garden. For my nitrogen source, I'm using calcium nitrate. It's a little faster acting than urea which is probably the most widely found or most commonly found form of nitrogen. But 
the calcium nitrate gets to the plant a little faster and it also has the added benefit of having calcium. We're going to apply three ounces of nitrogen to that 12 foot area of bell peppers that we just transplanted into the garden. Three ounces. And it's not very much. The nitrogen from that can is shaken out into the garden. What we need to do now is scratch it into the soil. Get it all scratched into the soil well. Come by with your wand, water it in slowly, water the nitrogen into the soil, and make sure that you water around the base of the plants to settle the soil around the roots. I finished with that video and it occurred to me I did not provide adequate instructions on the application of the nitrogen. When you're putting the nitrogen down, you want to put it right in the middle of the row between the two rows of plants. You do not want to get it up against the plant. If you get that nitrogen up against the stem of the plant, you're going to get nitrogen burn and probably kill them. So apply it right down the middle of your row. If you're not in a mitlighter garden and you're doing this in a normal garden, dress it off to the side. Oh, four inches, four or five inches, and then scratch it into the soil there. You have to water it in well because you have to water that to where that nitrogen gets down to the root for those plants that you just put in the garden. If you get it too close, you're going to get too much nitrogen to that little plant. You're going to burn it and you're going to lose everything. Be very careful when you're applying nitrogen and uh, don't kill everything like I did the first time. If you enjoyed this video on transplanting the bell peppers today, we've got another video here for you to watch, which is the pruning and transplanting of tomatoes.